My beautiful friends, it's Amanda here, and today we're talking about a brand new lipstick product. This is the Velvet Matte Lipstick from Clarity Cosmetics. It's launching on Friday, November 3rd. Hopefully, I'll be posting this video the same day as the launch goes live. If everything goes according to plan, sometimes we do have technical difficulties. I'm going to manifest the fact that this video is being posted on launch day. This is a brand new product for Clarity. They've offered other lipsticks in the past, but never this matte bullet style, as far as I know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they used to have them and they're discontinued. But as far as I know, they've had liquid lips and lip glosses, but this is actually a bullet style lipstick. These will be retail priced at 16 US dollars a piece. However, I do have an affiliate code for Clarity Cosmetics and that will save you 10% on most things on their site. It's just my first name, Amanda. If you're interested in picking any of these up, you can save just a little bit with that affiliate code. I wanna give you all the details on these new lipsticks. I'm gonna show you close-ups of the product, the packaging. We're also gonna do lip swatches of all 12 shades. I have been hydrating my lips in anticipation of filming these lip swatches today. Let's start with the packaging and then I'll show you all of the shades lip swatched. I'm going to deep dive into the components here. I do have a couple of complaints and also a couple things I like about this. It's a review, you know, we have to be picky. I do want to point out that this product is completely vegan and cruelty free, as are all of the products on the Clarity website as far as I know. The lipstick tubes all look exactly the same on the outside, but the shade names are on a little sticker on the bottom. So if you get multiple shades, that's how you're going to be able to tell them apart. This component itself, it is lighter weight plastic. You're not going to get that weighted component feeling that you get from a super high-end price point lipstick like a NARS, for example. This does feel different. You can feel the difference. That's not a problem for me or anything. I just wanted to point that out so that you know what to expect if you do order. I really like the shape and size of this component. It's very slim and sleek. It could easily fit into even like a small cute little evening bag or clutch. The only thing to be wary of with this packaging is the way that the square piece twists. It has to be lined up correctly in order to put the lid back on and it's easy to twist it too far and get that out of alignment. That's my only real complaint with this packaging. I wish that it was a little bit more intuitive so that when you could twist it as far as possible, it would be aligned instead of a little bit off kilter. Now we're getting into the lip swatches. The first one we're looking at is called Icon. This is a classic, really bright red. I would say that this is more of a blue based than an orangey red. It's such a bright red that I think it's pulling kind of pink on my skin tone on camera, but in person, this is a really bright classic red. Not to be confused with this shade, Play by the Rules. Clarity describes it as a deep coral pink. When I first put this color on, I immediately thought of the hibiscus color pink. It's sort of an orange, red, pink all mixed together. Just this bright tropical type of feeling to it. This warm orange shade is called His Type. This is definitely a classic pumpkin-y type of orange shade. I like that this is so distinct from the reds and the nudes. Often in lipstick lines, the orange kind of gets lumped in with either red or nude. And it's also very distinct from the Sienna Sunset shade, which is definitely more of a terracotta brown base type of color. I prefer the Sienna Sunset shade for me, but I actually like the orange his type a lot more than I thought I was going to because I'm typically not an orange lip girl at all. But the undertone of these lipsticks is just really hitting the spot for me. This is the shade Nude O'Clock. This one is my favorite of the entire collection. I know I am basic. I have made my peace with it. 
This is a rosy nude type of shade, and it's the one that I am most compelled to keep going back to. The other nude shade, the one you're looking at now, is called Naughty Nude. This is giving me a flashback to the mid-2000s concealer lips type of look. This is more of a beige color. I think it's going to suit my super, super pale friends really well. I don't really think it's my color, but it is the color for somebody, I'm sure of it. Now we have a pinky lilac called Uncuffed. If you're looking for a truly cool toned pink lipstick, this Uncuffed is the girl that you are seeking. This Uncuffed shade reminds me of the iconic MAC lipstick called Snob and this next shade Pink Drink which is a super bright hot pink reminds me of Barbie classic bright Barbie pink. This one is super bright and bold. Again, not really the type of color I typically wear that much, but the performance is really great for such a bright in your face pigmented type of lipstick. Often for me, those super bright lip colors are quite dry and that is not the case for these. Now you're looking at the shade called Chaotic. This is a berry, not quite pink, not quite red, just really perfectly berry color. And then the next one called I Ma View is more red leaning compared to Chaotic. I actually quite like both, but if I had to pick one, I would go with this I Ma View color. I just like how it feels bright and desaturated at the same time. It seems like the type of color I would like to wear a lot. I actually like all three of these last shades quite a bit. This one called Dark Chocolate is a deep reddish brown color. I don't have it built up as much as it could be here just because I like this look on my lips and the more I put this one on the more I appreciate it. Exact same thing with this deep grape raisin type of color called Buffy. I never expect to love the vampier shades in a line and then I pretty much always do. I should just learn my lesson and know that these colors really flatter me and that I really like the way that they look. But this Buffy one especially has really grown on me. Now I want to show you all 12 colors swatched side by side on my arm. I know sometimes with the lip swatches, seeing them individually, they can all sort of run together and a lot of the colors will look way too similar if you don't literally have them a centimeter apart so that you can compare them. I think this truly helps to show the similarities and the differences as compared to just seeing the individual lip swatches. All together, I think this is how you get the best picture, seeing them actually applied onto the lips and seeing them swatched all together at once as well. My absolute favorites are Nude O'Clock and I Ma View, but I also really like Sienna Sunset, Dark Chocolate, and Buffy as well. So those are my top picks from the range. Formula-wise, these have a really lightweight, almost silky matte type of feel on the lips. I do find that especially for the deeper colors, I need to do a couple of passes over the lips to get really nice, even opaque coverage but I definitely can achieve that. And personally, I like that buildable type of texture because I feel like I can customize my lip look if I wanted to pair this with a lip liner or maybe mix two shades together, do an ombre lip. I like that more lightweight buildable type of formula. I know it probably won't be everybody's cup of tea, but I do think that it's a lot more comfortable to apply and it makes that shade customization easier. So. For me, I like that, but I realize some people want that really one swipe, super opaque type of matte lipstick. And that's not really what I get from this. Not a problem for me, but just be aware if that's what you're expecting, that's not what these are. They're matte, but they're not super drying. I don't feel like all the life is being sucked out of my lips. I have dry skin and I live in a place where it's starting to get cold now. So my dry skin has really ramped up and these don't make my lips feel dried up and cracked and kind of crusty feeling. 
So I appreciate that they have some of that light silky texture to the matte finish that makes them really comfortable to wear long term. While these are a long wearing matte lipstick formula, they're not completely transfer proof. You will eventually have to touch these up throughout the day, especially when eating or drinking. I would say they're transfer resistant, but not transfer proof. I am going to do a little non-scientific kiss test for you though, just so that you can see what I mean. Oh, so I'm just going to lay a smooch on the back of my hand here and we'll see how much transfers off, okay? So as you can see, there's a little bit of transfer, but my lips still look nice and it wasn't like my whole lip is just stamped on the back of my hand here. So like I said, transfer resistant, not transfer proof, but that is kind of bundled into that more light, silky feeling on the lips. And I would definitely sacrifice some of that transfer proofness, is that a word, to have more comfort throughout the day. As somebody who's not a big matte lip wearer, I really like these. I find them to be comfortable. I think the shape of the component's really interesting. It made it easy to apply in a precision way around the little detail areas, Cupid's bow and corners of the lips and stuff. All in all, I think this is a really great release. I'm excited to see hopefully more shades in the future. I would love to see some more nude shades. You know, I'm a neutral gal. Nude o'clock is my favorite shade from the range right now. I also really like I Mauve View, but nude o'clock is definitely the one I see myself going back to most frequently. I would love to see some more maybe deep reds, some more nudes, and maybe even some crazy colors. Hopefully this range is successful enough that we see them do maybe a purple or a blue or a black lipstick. I think that would be really cool. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about this release. Are you interested in this formula? Which shade was your favorite? I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mm, let me try that again. Let me try that again. I love my eyeshadow today. I did film this. It's a new indie brand. It is so cute. I love the way this look turned out. Okay, I'm getting distracted. So much indie makeup to distract me today. I can see this making it into my fall favorite lip colors for next year because I already posted the one for this year. Not that many people watched it. Go watch that video. It didn't do that well. Okay, thanks. Love you. Bye. <laughs> I think it's very flattering. I, I can imagine this will look good on a lot of people, so I like this one. Hi, Barbie. I actually like this one more than I thought I would. I'm not a big pastel girl, but this is actually pretty cute. Pretty cute. Mm, I don't like it. This is naughty nude, and I do naughty like it. Not on me. I think there's a shade for every person and a person for every shade. This one and I just are not a match. Not a match. You know I like to try something different, but this is not the one for me. I just dropped this one. Right after I finished applying it, I was going to set it down, and instead of doing that, I like fumbled it like a cartoon character and it just flew straight on the ground and I broke it and it's my favorite shade of the whole line. I mean, I can still use it. It's fine, but it's just sad. I wish I would have broke that other nude one instead because that one looked horrifying on me and this is so pretty and I love it. It's my favorite one and I broke it because I'm a dingbat. Okay, fine, fine. Oh, Sienna Sunset. Did I say that? I forget. I forget if I said it or not. If not, that's it. This color makes me want to go on a tropical vacation. It's like a hibiscus, pinky red hibiscus color. All I need now is a little cocktail with a little umbrella in it, except it's 40 degrees and I have to go help my kid with his homework, but pretty much the same thing. Icon with the K. According to the laws of YouTube, when you're filming lip swatches, once you get close to the end, you have to start running out of A, battery in your camera, B, space on your memory card, or C, all. Guess who is in category C right now? But we made it. That's what matters. I did all of them. Let's just get it edited now so that you can see it. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being so cool. I love that about you. It's my favorite thing is your coolness. And second is your face because I love your face so much and I will see it hopefully back on this channel.
soon. I'll have another video for you soon and I hope that you'll watch it and I hope that we can enjoy it together and I hope you know that I love your face. Okay, bye!